Hello and welcome to me doing my makeup. <laughs> That's all this video is going to be. I'm just going to go ahead and get started and we'll do a little chit chatting while I do that. Um, I'm trying to finish this Becca backlight priming filter. I don't know why I just looked at it like I didn't know the name of it. I've been wanting to do my makeup for a video like all week but it has been raining since I don't know since like Sunday I can't remember today's the first day that it's been pretty and there's been like good lighting so that is why we're here today I'm taking this oil from it's from fourth ray beauty and I'm sorry I can't remember the name of it but they have a lot of facial oils and different ones for like different skin types but I really like it whatever it is it smells good for foundation today, I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick, and I was using this, like, pre-quarantine. This was, like, the thing I was trying to finish, so I have, like, this much left, and I was trying to use it every single day for work, um, and just, you know, trying to focus on using one thing. I like this foundation stick. I don't know if it's because like I'm just not into foundation as much anymore and I'm more into like a natural tinted moisturizer kind of thing that I'm just like meh about it. But it's good. There's nothing wrong with it. It looks really nice. Um, I do like to use the oil first just to like make it a little more dewy. but. It has a good finish on its own. It can just be a little drying for me if I don't make sure I moisturize really well. And I like to apply stick foundations with a brush typically, but lately I've been using the sponge and I like it. This sponge is from e.l.f. It's the camo concealer sponge or something like that from that camo concealer line. Um, I really really like it but I did find that it doesn't last very long before it gets like weird like it's not the texture I mean it is the texture it's not how it like shreds like usually that's when you know it's time to get rid of it is when it your sponge starts to shred and like get little holes in it and stuff from washing it but this one gets like a weird texture. I don't really know how to explain it. The only other sponge I've noticed that with was the Morphe sponge. For concealer, I'm using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. This has been my go-to for the last couple of months and I like it. It's more of a lighter coverage than their other concealer, but it is more like dewy and natural, so I like that. It does have like a really strong scent though, like it smells like paint. <laughs> so if you're sensitive to that, then this is not going to be it for you. <laughs> is anyone else's skin just like the worst, even though you're probably not wearing makeup nearly as much as you were? Because that's what's happening to me. I find that this concealer layers pretty well too, so if you feel like you missed an area or want to like just build it up on a certain area, like I'm really dark right here and I just feel like it needs a little bit more, then it's, it's good for going back over top of itself. It doesn't like pick itself up or mess anything up to do multiple layers. I just set that with the RCMA No Color Powder. You know the drill. For bronzer, I'm using the Milk Baked Bronzer. This has just kind of been my, my go-to lately. I really wanted to buy the Fenty Cream Bronzer and Blush or multiple blushes, honestly, because they all look really fun and pretty. Um, 
and they were having a sale like on the Fenty website a couple days ago and I had things in my cart and then I was like no I don't need those this bronzer is gonna last me for the rest of my life and I don't need any more blushes although I have been pretty obsessed with cream blushes lately so and I only have three By the way, this is the e.l.f. Airbrush Stipple Brush. I got it because Samantha Ravindahl raves about it for like cream products. And I'm pretty sure it's discontinued. So I saw it on the Ulta website and decided I needed it. And I like it. This is only the second time I've used it. But I do like it. For highlight lately, I've been using this Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Highlight. I think there was only one shade, but this one is called Who's That Pearl? I don't remember seeing more than one. Um, but I didn't like it when I got it. I actually had it in a little bin to like give away. And I took it back out because I have been using more cream products lately. I don't even know if you can see it on camera, but it's just like a really subtle sheen. It's not like a blinding highlight, which is why I think I didn't like it to begin with, because I was really, really into that. And I still am sometimes, but I've definitely come to appreciate a more subtle, dewy, glowy look. So I like it now. And it's from Wet n Wild, so it's really affordable. I don't know if they still make these. They came out with a lot of little cushion products there for a minute. You can kind of see on this side, it's it's just very reflective, but there's no glitter. For blush, I'm going to try to use this Between the Sheets from ColourPop. And I'm just going to use this same brush. I haven't used this in a while. I've really been liking the blush like across the nose and like across your whole face but my only issue with that is that sometimes the brush that I'm using or something about the blush just like takes the concealer off of my nose completely. It's just like a balancing act. Like, I want my nose to be a little touch of pink, but I don't want it to be, like, gross looking. I also brought out this Wet n Wild Baked Blush in, what is this called? Don't Flutter Yourself. Um, it's like a highlighter-y blush, and I like to use this big fluffy brush as kind of like a blush topper. And speaking of shimmery, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Bretman Rock Setting Spray. And I'm going to do my brows off camera because I have been using a brow powder lately. I have been trying to like hoard my brow pencils when I ever do get to go back to work. It's just easier to use those in the morning. Uh, powders usually take a little bit longer, so that's why I'm using them now. Um, this is the Urban Decay Brow Box in the shade Bathwater Blonde. This was part of the Gwen Stefani collection, which I think I bought at least one of everything from that collection. Maybe I bought that whole collection, but <laughs> Uh, everything from that collection was so cute. Okay, so I filled in my brows with the brow powder and now I am cracking open a fresh tube of the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. Mine is in the shade Light and I've just been obsessed with this. Like, it's so good. It really holds your brows in place and it has enough of a tint to it that 
I've been using it on days when like I don't do anything else to my brows so I've just been obsessed and this will be a spoiler to my May empties but I didn't have any empties in April in case you were wondering because April we truly did not go anywhere like I started working from home in the middle of March and still working from home now so yeah <laughs> it's been a lot of nothing <laughs> anyway uh, for my eyes I'm gonna keep it simple but it's probably gonna be difficult <laughs> um, but as far as eyeshadow I'm just gonna use my Bare Minerals 5-in-1 cream eyeshadow this is in the shade soft linen it really is like not a shade it's like my eyelids by the way Jacob and I have been getting daily harvest for like the last month I think and a lot of people on Instagram are really interested in knowing my thoughts on this and I do have some I'm trying to get Jacob to film a video with me because I just thought both of our perspectives would be more interesting plus I just think it would be fun to film something with them um, but we haven't done it yet but if you're interested in that let me know in the comments because that would be something different and it seemed like there was a lot of interest so yeah okay so I just lined my waterline top and bottom with an Urban Decay black eyeliner if you follow me on Instagram then you'll see I'm sort of testing between two so if you want to see that, I might have saved it on my Instagram stories by now. Um, but essentially, one is the waterline eyeliner from Urban Decay, and the other is just the regular perversion eyeliner. And I've never really tested to see if the waterline one works better, so check that out over there if you're curious. Um, this is where things get interesting, and I'm a little bit nervous. So I bought this kiss magnetic eyeliner and lashes um i got this the shade i got the style lure lure and i got the shade tantalize i don't know why i keep saying shade i got the style tantalize and then the ones i'm gonna use today are called lure and i have to get them because i've worn them once and they're in this little I got this little magnetic palette from an Ipsy box like years ago, Ipsy bag, and it's just tiny and is a magnet on the inside. So like my bobby pins usually stay in there pretty well, but also these lashes. I'm going to line with this. You have to let it dry pretty well before you put the lashes on. So I'm going to put this on and then put on mascara and then hopefully that'll work. I don't know if I can do this on camera, okay? Uh, I feel like I really did a bad job, <laughs> but it is what it is. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing. Oh god, that looks so bad. It looks like a crow. This looks so much better the first time I did it, I swear. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm going to apply the Kiss Magnetic Liner just across my lash line, obviously not like out to the wing. Um, but yeah, just right over top of that. And for mascara, I'm using the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. This is a fresh tube as well. Just another empty spoiler for you. I finished a mascara. <laughs> but I really, really liked this last time I had it, so hopefully I'm remembering it correctly. Alright, so both eyes have mascara. This one I went ahead and put the lash on, and I'm going to go ahead and put this one on as well.
that's really it. It's super simple once you get the eyeliner on. I'm gonna check back in later. I'm gonna wear these. I'm not <laughs> not going anywhere, but I'll let you know how this continues to wear. I'm gonna finish off with some lips real quick. This is the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in the shade Sleepy Eyes. It's just like a RNG brown, red, I don't know. Alright guys, so that's it for the makeup. Like I said, I might do a check-in on how these lashes are going. I wore them, like I said, one other time and they were, I felt like they were too long so I felt like the inner corners were like kind of poking me in the eye and I could feel them every time I blinked. I don't feel that way now that I trimmed them, but I trimmed the outside corner and I tried to keep them on the outside because that's, you know, where I want the, the flare. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know because I kind of felt like putting the inner corners down even though they're further from my inner corners, they were still like wanting to pop up. So I'll let you know how that goes. I, I just wanted to check in on the lashes. This is like six hours later and my only issue is the corner of this one. I actually took this one off to try to show Jacob how they are magnets and when I did that the liner like came off with the lash um, and then it wouldn't obviously go back on so I tried to redraw it but now it just keeps popping up. I don't know if I need to apply more liner if I didn't wait long enough for it to dry before I put them on and that's why it like stuck to it when I pulled it off if that makes sense. Um, this one has been fine and since I cut them they are a lot more comfortable than the first time that I used these. Um, the first time I used them I kept feeling it like poking right here and I can barely feel this one. This one I can feel a little bit just because it's not attached but I really like them and I'll continue testing them out and kind of seeing what works. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that stuff. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see how this waterline eyeliner is going. And yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe and making good choices. <laughs> and have a great day. Bye!